Have you ever wondered what really causes HIV, how it's diagnosed, and the treatments available? Well, today we delve into the world of human immunodeficiency virus, more commonly known as HIV, in a bid to understand this complex virus better. Imagine you're a detective, and your mission is to track down a culprit causing havoc in the city. The culprit in our case is HIV. This virus targets the immune system, specifically the CD4 cells, which are vital in fighting off infections and diseases. The virus replicates within these cells, gradually weakening the immune system. The transmission occurs through certain body fluids like blood, semen, vaginal and rectal fluids, and breast milk from a person who has HIV. Unprotected sexual intercourse, sharing of needles, and mother-to-child transmission during birth or breastfeeding are the most common ways the virus spreads. Now, onto the next phase of our detective work, the diagnosis. Like any good detective, medical professionals use specific tests to reveal the villain. For HIV, it's the HIV antibody test, which detects the antibodies your body produces to fight the virus. There's also the antigen antibody test that looks for both HIV antibodies and antigens, a part of the virus itself. If these tests are positive, a follow-up test is done to confirm the diagnosis. But what happens once the culprit is caught? In the case of HIV, catching the culprit doesn't mean the end of the story. There's no cure for HIV, but there are treatments available that can control the virus and help prevent its progression to AIDS, the final stage of HIV infection. The primary treatment for HIV is antiretroviral therapy, or ART. This therapy involves a combination of antiretroviral drugs that slow the rate at which the virus multiplies. These drugs are grouped into six classes, each working differently to stop the virus. The combinations used depend on individual health conditions and the strain of the virus one has. Moving on to one of the most effective treatments for HIV, we have highly active antiretroviral therapy, also known as HEART. This therapy is a combination of several antiretroviral medicines that work together to slow the rate at which HIV progresses. By reducing the amount of virus in the body, HEART allows the immune system to recover. This boosts the body's ability to fight off infections and cancers that could otherwise be lethal. However, as we'll discuss in our next scene, heart is not without its drawbacks. Side effects can include nausea, diarrhea, and even heart disease. Despite these challenges, the advent of heart therapy has transformed HIV from a fatal disease into a manageable chronic condition, allowing those diagnosed with HIV to lead long and fulfilling lives. Unfortunately, like most medications, antiretroviral drugs have side effects, these can range from mild issues like headaches, fatigue and nausea to more serious problems like heart disease, kidney damage and bone loss. However, medical professionals closely monitor patients on these medications to manage these side effects and adjust treatment as necessary. To sum up, HIV is a complex virus that attacks the immune system and is primarily transmitted through certain body fluids. Diagnosis involves testing for antibodies or antigens, and while there's no cure, Antiretroviral therapy can control the virus and prevent the progression to AIDS. Side effects of this treatment can occur, but medical professionals are always on hand to manage these. Understanding HIV is crucial for prevention, management, and hopefully one day, a cure. Knowledge equips us to make informed choices about our health and the health of those around us. So, continue asking questions, continue seeking answers, and continue spreading awareness about HIV.